Bank Needs Knives. I'm Jared, and today we're going through a few EDC pocket knives and just give a little talk about them. This is the Wii Starhawk. It's uh, somewhat of a spay point blade, blade shape, which can be super useful. Um, it is in 20 CV steel with a titanium frame lock. It comes in multiple different options, multiple deployments. You have the reverse flick and the flipping action that both work great. Not the, the freest dropping knife, but it's, you know, just because of the shape, you know, and the blade isn't very heavy. You can work it left-handed um, because the clip gives you a nice placement for your thumb if you are left-handed. And the, the clip is reversible for you. But yeah, it's a pretty cool knife. My biggest complaint, I think, with it is the lock bar. While there is decent access, it, it, there really is decent access, I find myself kind of slipping off of it. It might be just me, but but yeah, other than that, though, I mean, it's a solid knife. Not my favorite, but, you know, still a very, very solid choice. And it looks cool and could possibly be very useful for many people. And the next one is the t -Kel night stalker now i will say t kel makes great knives i met him at blade show usa made handmade knives their sheaths are uh, amazing and there's lots of different variations like even this one i believe comes you can get it without the ring or with the ring has a little pressure point back there you know for you know self-defense stuff and this one in particular is double edged i'm not sure um you know like if they're all double-edged or, you know, you can get the single edge, but this one does have a sharpened spine up here. And it is very well done, very comfortable in the hand. And like I said, you don't have to get it with the ring if the ring is not your style. But if it is, it's a well done ring. Like I said, the sheath is really good quality. You know, it feels really good. Nice push off point or, you know, nice retention if you're going to snap it out. But, yeah, I, I really like T. Kell's knives. I think he does a heck of a job. And I'm going to link everything I can down in the description for you guys from this video. So, yeah, check him out. Next is the Vosti Raccoon. Now, I do have a full review of this if you want to watch it. I'll pin it right up here in the corner. The pre-order is right now, and you'll be it'll be being mailed out on the 12th of December. So it's not like a pre-order you got to wait six months for or anything like that. Um, if you pre-order now, you know, they'll be mailing out like, like I said, December 10th or December 12th or something like that. So very, very soon. Deep carry clip that is reversible, that works great. Um, 14C 28M blade steel, great blade shape. Love this somewhat spear point-ish style blade. It's not like a perfect spear point, but it's very close to it. Almost like the, the mixture between a sheep's foot and a spear point. Modified versions of one or the other. Micarta scales, very comfortable in the hand, very fidgety with the button lock action. And because the button lock is recessed perfectly, it doesn't poke out a lot, you can actually put your your finger there without disrupting the detent which is really good because that's a common problem with button locks but yeah i love it and like i said the links or sorry the um the full review is up on the channel next this one i just got but uh, i love it i absolutely love this knife this is the knife i did carry on thanksgiving it is the f22 kickstop now, it has the kickstop, which is, if you look, it's a disappearing flipper tab. So when you flip it, the flipper tab is disconnected from the blade, and it basically kicks the blade open, and it rockets out. This thing hammers out. It's extremely, extremely smooth. The detent is super consistent, very, very snappy. It feels very premium. And, you know, when you drop it, you don't have no bearing feel. You know, you don't feel any grittiness or anything of the balls rolling or anything like that. Full titanium, but there is, like, a hundred options of this one. So many different options. Maybe not a hundred, but there's a lot. There's micarta, carbon fiber, different colors of micarta, uh, different colors of titanium. And, yeah, I absolutely love it. Um, M390 steel. And you can see it has somewhat of a unique lock bar that's underneath the scale here. Titanium mill pocket clip that does work great. I'm not a big fan of the position, but it's okay. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. I'm very, very happy with that purchase. Next is another one I recently uh, talked about. And if you watch my full video on it, uh, me discussing it, I talked about what I think they should do about it. Now, this one's not out yet, and it's coming in the near future. Um, 
This would be, I'm calling it the Vosteed Grind. Um, it does have a Scandi Grind on it. Now, I argued that I think the, the blade should be a little bit broader and the handle should be a little bit broader because it's a Scandi Grind. Um, it does use an Axis style lock. Very fidgety, very fun to flick and play with. And then you have the Vosteed Clip that works great. Inset with flat screws and is reversible. Um, this one is a good size, but I just think it'd be a little bit better to be a little bit bigger. So hopefully they do that. We'll see. Next is the Hogue Trauma, USA made. Um, I really like the, the blade shape, which is a sheep's foot blade shape. The Ergo's very comfortable in the hand, even with this deep carry clip. That's actually not very deep carry, but it is still a deep carry clip. It's very comfortable in the hand. Glass breaker on the back, and then it has a belt cutter that is on a double detent system so you can actually snap it out there pretty fidgety actually it's, it's kind of uh, satisfying to flick out but this blade comes very very sharp extremely extremely sharp so and if you only used it for the times when you really need to cut something like a belt um, it'll always be sharp for you um, nice strong locking mechanism with a crossbar lock, nice big stop pin. Uh, I think, yeah, it has T8 hardware all the way around. This little hole right here is for an oxygen tank. So that's why it's called the Trauma. Now, the only issue I have with it, it's running N680 steel. Now, a lot of people argue that N680 is a great steel for a rescue knife or a trauma knife, at rescue knife, whatever you want to call it. And maybe it is. Maybe it is. It's easy to sharpen, easy to maintain. Not going to hold the longest edge. Um, nice and stainless. And, you know, it's okay. It's, it's a decent steel. But I think for the price that they're trying to charge for, right around like $160 or a little bit less, uh, you know, I think it could be upgraded a little bit. However, that doesn't stop me from absolutely loving the knife. And, um, yeah, very cool. Next is the Leatherman Free, the K4. And one thing I really like about this is it's kind of a, it's a, multi, a minimalist multi-tool. So the primary tool on it is the actual knife itself, with, which is a hollow ground sheep's foot blade that works so good. It's stout enough for hard use, but slicey enough to have really good geometry because of the nice hollow grind. And it's not going to get thicker because, you know, as you sharpen it, it's going to stay, you know, relatively thin behind the edge. I like that you can use it one-handed. You do not have to use two hands to open or close this thing. You just, and also, it's running on magnets, by the way. But you just pull this back right here, and it disengages. Now, with the multi-tools, they're also held in with magnets, and you just push right here pop them right out and there's not a ton of tools on this but there's just the exact amount of tools that you might need you know day to day you got a flat head of phillips some scissors and all you can kind of use this thing maybe as a little bit of a scraper slash pry tool so very cool and you know again you can get to these one-handed you don't have to have two hands available to get to your tools and they lock the exact same way so that's what i really like about it and that it primarily is a knife now they do have other versions of this of the leatherman freeze so this is just one of them and this is a pretty affordable one especially because it's usa made and it's right around 80 bucks but they do have more expensive ones you know as the the tools go up and other things go up so very cool though i do like it my one complaint is just the clip is not comfortable in the hand. So putting it in the hand, it, it's pretty uncomfortable with that clip. However, a lot of your grips are going to be the pinch grips, you know, maybe some pull grips. And so it's not that big of a deal, but it's not a very comfortable knife in the hand with the clip if you have the clip on it. Next is one of the best knives of the year the Kaiser Mini Roach. So this comes with a removable flipper tab. I have the flipper tab removed right now, but with the flipper tab on, amazing detent. Amazing, amazing, amazing action. The detent is solid with the flipper. However, the reverse flick is also equally as good. So that's what's one thing that's really cool about this is that both 
Uh, deployments are amazing, but then when you take off the flipper tab, your ergos are massively increased. Now they're still good with the flipper tab, but right now I chose to take mine off. I had it, I had it with the flipper tab on longer than I've had it off, but very fidgety. Now the next thing that makes this thing amazing, besides the action, is so good. This blade, this blade is so useful with its nice deep hollow grind, amazing geometry, amazing plunge grind for pinch grips, for, you know, push cuts. You can even get by with reverse grips, not the best, but you can, but the blade shape and the geometry is just, it's on beast mode. This thing cuts like a champ and yeah, I absolutely love it. Access to lock bar is really good. Very smooth. And the honeycomb pattern kind of looks cool too. Next. The off-grid Raptor. I um, haven't, you know, carried this thing a ton. I have carried it a little bit. I have used it. And this little recurve up here in the front, which is what makes it very unique, is actually very useful. You can kind of just, like, hook it into behind, like, tape and, like, to open things up. It's extremely useful. You put your finger right up here on the top of the spine, you know, and you can kind of just use it like a little utility cutter. But then when you need to like use it like a regular knife, you know, for slicing cardboard and stuff, you absolutely can. Um, not the biggest though. It is only like a three and a half finger knife. So it's, you know, not going to be a full palm filling, but because it's so broad and so palm filling, the three fingers you do get on it really lock in place. Really, really good. So um, my biggest complaint for this, because the action's good, flips really good. You can also reverse flick it. Uh, that is one thing with off-grid knives, man. They do have good action and they are very, very well built. Deep carry clip that's reversible. Um, but my biggest complaint is... I kind of, you know, and it's not horrible, so it's not that big of a complaint, but I wish there was a little bit more access to the lock bar. I mean, it's fine, but I always could use more. And then I'm not a big fan of the plunge grind and choil, but other than that, very cool. D2 steel, G10 scale, steel liners, um, pretty affordable, and it's somewhat of a self-defense knife slash EDC pocket knife. Next is the Civivi Cyrus. Now, this one is growing on me pretty good. Now, it's a full-size knife. So if you're looking for something slim yet full-size with a straight clip point blade, because this one does have a straight clip point, so it's going to be the useful side of a clip point, especially for everyday carry, because you can do great utility cuts, slicing, skinning, push cuts, reverse grip. All of it will work great. The belly is not too much. It has enough flat area to where, you know, it's a very useful blade shape. Now, this one has a steel frame lock with a steel lock bar insert. And the reason why is so that they can make this a little bit softer steel. And then they can put a hardened steel lock bar insert on uh, for the for the insert so that it's steel on steel contact when it's open. And you don't have soft steel with hard steel, you know. So it doesn't create lock stick or anything. Um, it does have a deep carry clip that is reversible. And it has flipping action. And the flipping action is amazing on this. It is very smooth. Um, you know, some Civivis are very snappy, great action, but then they don't have that real glassy feel. Some of them, some of them feel not gritty, but you can feel, you know, the bearings moving. And then some are just like, whoa, this is smooth. And that's the way this one is. Very, very smooth. Easy to reverse flick. Ergos are amazing. Does come in multiple different um, versions. Good access to the lock bar or at least decent access. Um, yeah, very awesome though. 14C 28M blade steel. So, um, which Civivi does a good job with that steel. Damn it, this thing is so smooth. But yeah, this is a good one. I really like it. And then last, we have the buffalo tooth <laughs> the finch buffalo tooth so this is a titanium frame lock finch knife and yes it's a chunker it is a bit different it's weird it's not it's not uh the typical thing you see it's big bulky it almost looks like a whale or something um spear point bladed with a high flat grind that is slicey um the ergos are also it's uh, almost obnoxiously wide but that also fills your hand really good and allows you to get a really good grip on it good access to the lock bar and finch always has snappy action their action is always it always impresses me how 
good their action is and how premium the knives feel. You can reverse flick off the fuller kind of, but not really, it's not the best, so. Uh, but the clip works great and you have this faux bolster jig bone pattern that looks really cool with a glowing shield if you be, uh, burn it with a light. The problem is, is well, depending on which model you have of the Finch knives, the green shield, um, they are way brighter than the blue shields. The blue shields have no comparison to the green shields. So just so you know that, um, if you do get a blue one, expect it not to be very bright. Um, the jimping on the flipper tab does second as, you know, a nice little choke up spot, which I do appreciate and like. And yeah, I like it. It's a quite a bit, it's pretty expensive though. It is around, it's just under $200. So, and it's only 154 CM blade still. So yes, it's on the price year end. However, their knives are on the price year end. But I will say this, they feel like really good quality. So while their other knives are like $115 to $150, depending on the model, um, they're using steel frame lock. So you, some would say, well, that's a bit pricey. But the fit, the finish, the, the details, the, the smoothness, the action are all on point. So, you know, you, you do, and, and, and everyone I've tried has been very consistently like that. I have yet to have felt one that didn't blow me away with their action and how smooth and just how well done they were. Even if they don't look like it. When you get it in hand, they are. So that does cost something. But anyways, there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.